I'm Jen. I'm Jeremy, and my cat's Pissball. Come on, get off, get off. Henry is a seven-year-old Maine Coon, 18 pounds of piss and vinegar. I got him when he was really, really young, about six weeks old, and we lived out in the country with him. He was an indoor-outdoor cat. And then we moved to Southern California, where we didn't have a yard for him, and he became an indoor cat and did not like it. And so he started peeing on everything. Oh, God. He's destroying our bookcases and our books. He's destroyed the buffet in the dining room. You see, this is one of Henry's spots. He loves to pee in here for some reason. And the drapes. And the drapes. Oh, yeah. And behind the couch. Oh, honey. And the cabinets. This is not how I like to spend my afternoons. Henry! We need to do something. It can't continue. If Jackson can't fix Henry, I'll have to give him to a rescue. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Hey guys, Hi. come on in. I'm Jackson. I'm Jeremy. Jeremy? I'm Jen. Hey Jen. So, let's talk about Henry. When did you get him? I got him, he was about six weeks old. Okay, he was a little baby. Yeah, yeah. When did the problem start? When we moved, when he was two, we moved from a house in Northern California with a yard and a neighborhood that he could roam around in to being in a condo with no yard and not wanting him to go outside because of cars. And coyotes. It makes sense that Henry started peeing the second this family moved and put him inside permanently. This cat was used to being outside whenever he wanted to, call in the shots, they shrink that away from him, give him a box-sized territory. He's going to get a little uneasy, a little anxious territorially. Does he? squat and pee on things, or does he Stand. spray? He, he sprays. Oh, he sprays, mm -hmm. OK. There's a big difference between squatting to urinate and spraying. Squatting is strictly about releasing your bladder, but spraying is about marking territory. What have you done to sort of curb the problem? Letting him outside. Oh, OK, we're letting him out now. Yeah. OK. Now, of course, at first, you're like, I'm not going to let him out because we have coyotes and we have pretty heavy predator area. I was fed up. Just, I was done. Ah. I got a nose for cat pee and it drives me up the wall. Okay, so you've pretty much given in to that because you're not wanting to mm -hmm. live with this anymore. And has that helped? A little bit, but he's still doing it. We caught him the other day. Henry! Oh, God. So where do you let him out? We'll let him out in the indoor courtyard, but we will also let him out in the street, into the wild. You know, he usually runs out and goes right into the bushes and then he'll play with the stray cats that are there. The short-term reward of letting Henry outside is that, well, he won't pee in the house, and according to them, he's happier, which is probably true. Downside, he's not gonna live a very long life. I mean, statistically, his life indoor outdoor like that might be as little as half the normal lifespan of an indoor cat, so that's the chance that these guys are taking. So, as far as all the pee in your house, nothing has slowed it down besides letting him out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One time, I treated him like a dog and I rubbed his face in it. Oh, wow. And he has never gone in that spot again. That's totally coincidence. You think? <laughs> yeah. Because he hit that spot a lot. <laughs> yeah. No. no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's not, not one of those lucky. things that they understand. No, your cat doesn't understand. If you rub their face in their urine, all they're going to learn is to be afraid of you. It's not going to make them stop peeing. So, if I didn't get here, what's our worst fear? I mean, I love Henry and I want to and I want to keep him around, but I was looking into Maine Coon rescues. Okay. To like rehome him? Right. Okay. Um, we had tried everything and nothing was working. Do you think that one of the things that frustrates him is that lack of being able to hunt? Yes. yes. Absolutely. I mean, that's what he did when we lived in Northern California. It was he enjoys the hunt. And on cue. Yeah. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> he just did his laugh. Just wanted to yeah. say hello. Let me go say hello. <laughs> uh, hello, Henry. Hey, Henry. Hi. He is gorgeous. And he is mostly Maine Coon. Yeah. I mean, first of all, he's a beast. He's huge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so he's got the hair between his pads. He's mm -hmm. got the, the tufts coming out of his ears. And those guys do like out there. They're yeah. resistant to the cold, the, yes. you know, the wet. So up in your old neck of the woods, where it was wet, wet during and the cold. Season, wet yeah, and yeah. cold, he was uh, he, happy. He must have loved it. Yeah. He must have loved it. Well, you know what I would love to do is just, now that we're up, let's take a look around at all the hot spots. All right, so we have litter box number one. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now, is this here because he peed? Oh, oh, I can see it. Yeah. Man, that's a lot of spots. Yep. And he's hit the curtain as well. Oh, yeah. yes. And right behind you on the bookshelf. Oh, wow. It's taking up the wood. Yep. So this area, does it stop? Nope. 
it goes all the way down to the bar area and it would seep in through here. And you can see where it's destroyed the wood on this. Oh, wow. Normally, I would expect to see pee just around the window. But what Henry has done is taken the corner and then gone all the way down the wall, the entire length of the bookcase in the bar. That's unusual. It's not what I would expect to see. So this is the office spare bedroom. And right there, that is his numero uno spot. Any other rooms in the house that have this particular view? No. Yeah. So yeah. there are bushes right outside the window. Right outside the window? Right outside, yeah. yeah. There's a big long hedgerow there, and there's like a little animal highway through it that okay. they travel through. Yeah. That is a gimme. When it comes to spray, we're used to seeing perimeters marked, windows, doors, things where you're sending messages to outside cats. And that lets us know that this is territorial insecurity. He has demonstrated the same insecurity over and over and over again. It's chilly out here. OK. So, so, well, look at, what the hell? Who is this? This is Isabel. She lives next door. Hi, Isabel. I know it's hard to believe, but that little thing beats Henry up. This little cat beats Henry up? Yep. Yeah. On a daily basis. And when you say beat him up, We'll back him into a corner, yeah. meowing, hissing, and then they'll just go at it, fur flying. Wow, man. You watch Isabel walk around this courtyard. She owns this place. I mean, Henry doesn't stand a chance. If we're talking about Henry being territorially mm -hmm. insecure, nothing is going to ring that bell more than another cat who beats the hell out of him outside his front door. Mm -hmm. She's a very destructive force in his life. Mm -hmm. But look at her. Look at how she's going right up to your door right now. And that's what she does. She's got her nose in your door. And she'll do that all day long. She's all about Henry. Look at that. Oh. oh, a little bit of that. She's pawing at the door. Come out and play. Oh, Henry. Yeah, she's torturing him. <laughs> yeah, she is. That's crazy. Isabel wants into this house, and I mean badly. Where's Henry in? Oh, and Henry's right at the door. Oh, he is? Oh, yeah, Henry's right there. Oh, yes, he is. And his tail is going crazy. They're nose to nose at this point. He's not backing away. But still, to know that the cat who completely kicks his butt every time he crosses this threshold stands at your front door, that's got to be significant. Hey, we're done. We're done. Bye-bye, Isabel. Bye, Isabel. OK, Let's start going in. Door. Hi, Henry. <laughs> wow, look at him now, man. Yeah, he's not happy. Look at that tail. He is pissed off. And I don't blame him. I mean, right there on the other side of that door, she's basically thumbing her nose at him. Seeing Henry in this state, I have a perfect opportunity right now to teach these guardians how to help Henry get past these moments. When he just puffs up with that energy, he's just gonna carry it around with him or he's gonna play. So I'm gonna play. Hi, buddy, buddy. Hi, buddy, buddy. Wow, large and in charge, man. Oh my gosh, you are such the uber hunter. You are just a beast. Henry wants to kill things. Good boy. And that's good for our purposes right now. If he's taking all that energy out on the toy and uh, not peeing all over the place, I'm all for it. So homework time. We know that there's a very strong territorial frustration element that's going on here. So the first thing that I'm going to have you guys do is go to the places that he tends to hit constantly and make them unfriendly. Use deterrents. We have a variety of different deterrents, one that'll blow air at him, one that will start flashing light or sound or both. Remote deterrents are really helpful when it comes in cases like Henry. Without the human getting involved and making themselves into a bad association, the piece of furniture itself becomes the bad thing. So the next thing is resetting his clock. I want to get his body into a predictable daily pattern. We're going to restrict his access to the outside. I want you to eliminate his access to the street. No, I'm not going to say close the doors. He doesn't go outside anymore as much as I would like to because it's dangerous out there. But if I just shut the door, all hell's going to break loose. Yeah. So every day you're going to have a set schedule. He goes out, he comes back in over. We feed him once he's in, we play with him once he's in. He needs this play, man, in order to satisfy that raw cat intensity. Mm -hmm. Last thing, how do you guys feel about harness training him? I have been trying. With no luck? No, he tears me up. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. You're going to harness train him. 
to the best of your ability by forming a positive association between the harness and his favorite treat. Because my evil plan here is that we can replace all of his free access to the outside world with controlled access so that we can give him what he needs at the same time extend his life. Yeah. So that's it. All right, guys, I'm going to leave. All right. The end goal here is an ambitious one. I want Henry to be challenged. I want him to have freedom. I want the couple to not have a house that's all peed up. And I want Henry to be safe. Whew.